hello everybody welcome to being civil in the previous video we have learned how to get started with openstat and how to write vba code to analyze the stat file if you click this button the stat file will start analyzing if you want to know the code behind this button please watch the previous video in this video we'll get into deeper in openstat we'll write down some vba code to get the selected beams in the excel sheet suppose i am selecting this beam the beam number is 181 if you click this button you see this uh, beam number is in the excel sheet if you select multiple beams and click this button all the beams will be in the excel sheet if you do not select any beam and click this button you get you will get a message no beam selected so in this video we are going to write down this VBA code. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So in Excel, go to the developer tab and open Visual Basic. This is the first program we have written in the previous video to analyze the set. So let us copy this code and let's change the name. You can use any name you want delete this line this block of codes is similar for all open start program you will write so first you have to know the quantity of beam you selected so let's write down the code so this is the open state function that will return the number of beam you selected so let us show this variable as a message box in excel so let's run this code let us insert a button here and assign this macro here let us close this now if you click on this button you get zero as no beam is selected if you select one beam you get one if you select multiple beam you get the number of beam you selected so our first step is complete now you have to declare a array variable that will store the beam numbers at initially you do not know the size of this array so you have to redefine this array with the known size redeem and the size will be the number of beam you selected is a beam number minus one as the array index will start from zero let us comment out this code now now to get the selected beam numbers write down and this is our variable so by this line of code all the selected beams are stored in this array you have to print this array to an excel sheet by using a for loop so for i equal to one two it will be i minus one so complete let us try to run this code let us select this beam and click on this icon you get single beam if you select multiple beam and click on this you get all the beams if you do not select any beam and click this you will get an error so you have to handle this error so to handle this error you have to use some if block put this in the, this block line of codes in if block so if beam number is greater than zero then this line of codes will run else a message box will show that is no beam selected and close this in e block so that's all if you run this now you see no beam selected if you click on the uh, if you click on uh, select this and click on this you get all the beams i hope you like this video hit the subscribe button like this video share with your friends 
see you in the next video